para sa next lecture natin sa Engineering Economics. So, yung title ng lecture natin, Cost Concepts and Design Economics. So, yung mga didiscuss natin dito, yung maraming terms tungkol sa cost, in general economic environment, cost-driven design optimization, tsaka yung present economy studies. So, marami dito yung didiscuss natin kung ano yung iba't ibang klaseng cost. Tsaka may mga computations na sa pandang dulo. No? So, first time natin mag-compete dito sa subject. So, basic lang naman. Sa objectives natin, pag natapos natin yung subject nito, ano yung lecture nito, to analyze a short-term alternatives when the time value of money is not a factor. Kasi yung time value of money, discuss natin yun sa next lecture pa. At saka yung uh, economic break-even analysis, cost-driven design optimization, at present economy studies. So yun nga, yun yung outline. So, syempre, dapat na discuss natin itong mga ito. So first ay yung cost terminology. So maraman tayong iba't ibang uh, type ng cost na may encounter natin sa subject nila sa course nito. First ay yung uh, fixed cost. So define nga dito na those are affected by changes in activity uh, over a feasible range of operations for the capacity or capability available. So sa isang uh, firm na example natin, meron kang mga uh, cost na hindi nababago kahit na mataas or mababa yung production mo. Kaya lang yung sinasabi natin na mataas or mababa, syempre, nandun siya sa range ng capability ng uh, pwedeng sabihin nating plant mo no? sa isang uh, firm. Uh, examples natin dito, insurance and taxes and facilities, general management and administrative salaries, license fees, tsaka yung interest costs and borrowed capital. Yung mga fix na yan, hindi yan nakadepende kung gano'ng karami yung mapoproduce ng ang mabaproduce mo. Next naman is yung variable cost. Based nga dun sa term, so variable na vary Kung gaano karami yung output mo or activity level. So example nga nun, yung cost of material, syempre kung marami yung output mo, marami kang material mga gastos. As well as yung labor. Dahil uh, marami kang output, so maraming manpower na kailangang bayaran. So yun yung labor cost. Next naman, yung incremental cost or incremental revenue. Dahil yung incremental, so syempre, yung additional cost. Kapag nagdagdag ka pa ng isa or mas madami pang unit dun sa production mo. And then the next ay sample. May sample problem tayo dito. In connection with surfacing a new highway, the contractor has a choice of two sites on which to set up the asphalt mixing plant equipment. The contractor estimates that it will cost $2.75 per cubic yard mile to haul the asphalt paving material from the mixing plant to the job location. Factors relating to the two mixing sites are as follows. Production costs at each site are the same. May table tayo kung full dun sa site A, tsaka sa site B, tsaka kung magkano. Yung average hauling distance, yung hauling, yun yung pagdadala ng mga materials. Kung gano'ng kalayo, ano, from point of origin ng mga materials na yun. So, 4 miles uh, para makapunta sa site A. Pabalik na yan. No? Then, site B is 3 miles. Monthly rental of site for site A is $3,000. Site B is $7,000. Cost to set up and remove equipment so $15,000. And then, site B is $50,000. Calling expense to $2.75 per cubic yard mile. Stulad lang sila. And then, flag person sa site A, hindi na kailangan. Sa site B, $150 per day. Meron pa, the job requires 50,000 cubic yards of mixed asphalt paving material. It is estimated that 4 months or 17 weeks of 5 working days per week will be required for the job. Compare the two sites in terms of their fixed, variable, and total cost. Assume that the cost of the return tip is negligible. Which is the better site? For the selected site, how many cubic yards of paving material does the contractor have to deliver before starting to make a profit if paid $12 per cubic yard delivered to the job location? So, ang approach natin dito, kunin muna natin yung mga given, tapos i-compare natin sila. Okay, so na natin. So, 
kung una natin gagawin, kunin muna natin kung ano yung mga given per site. So, per site ay, ay, For site A, gunin natin yung mga fixed cost. So, yun yung ito. Site brand, ganun, no? So, rent. Na yung rent natin, ang sabi dyan, aabutin daw na 4 months and then monthly. Therefore, rent natin ay uh, 4 times uh, 2,000. Next pa, yung cost to set up and remove. So, 15,000. So, hindi siya monthly dahil uh, sa start at end lang ito gagawin. Set up and remove. So, mayroon pa ba tayong fixed? So, wala na. Wala na. And then, your variable cost. Mayroon daw tayong Ito nakadepende ito kung gano'ng karami ang i-haul. So, uh, 50,000 cubic yards. Then, kailangan natin yung 4 miles in distance na i-haul ito. And then, 2.75 dollars per cubic yard per mile. So, pwedeng sabihin natin na hauling yun. So, meron tayong uh, 4 miles. $2.75 per cubic yard per mile. And then, kung gano'ng karaming cubic yards, 50000 So, kunin natin for site A. Meron tayong 8,000. And then, 15,000. And ito, 4 times 2.75 times 60,000. Kunin natin 550,000. Sum up natin for site A. So, plus. The answer plus 8,000 plus 15,000. So, 573. $1,000 for site A. And then for site B. And then, so fixed cost for site B. Meron din siyang rent na uh, 7,000 per month. So, 4 times 7,000. Then, set up and remove. Mas malaki. So, 
So, yung fixed cost pa natin. Yung flag person. Yeah, ang bayad sa kanya is ito, 150 per day. Per day. Tapos yung sinabi kung gaano ka tagal. Um, ito na, 4 months or 17 weeks or 5 working days per week. So, 17 weeks. And then, 5 days per week. So, pag minultiply natin, matitira lang isang bar. May minute natin for naman tayo. Then, variable cost. So, yung hauling lang then na for site B in distance ay 3 miles. Two per cubic yard per mile multiply sa required na fifty thousand cubic yards. So four times seven thousand. So. 28,000 then yung 50,000 tapos yung 150 times 17 times 5 yun yung 1 or 12,750 yung last 3 times 2.75 2.75 times 50,000 for 1 to 500 no and sum up lang plus 28,000 so 503 $250. So, yung unang tanong, ano daw yung better site? So, yung better site natin based dun sa total cost ay yung site B. So, $503,250. At yung next na tanong, for the selected site, how many cubic yards of paving material does the contractor have to deliver before starting to make a profit, if paid $12 per cubic yard, delivered to the job location. So, pag na-solve dito sa engineering economics, lalo na dito sa first part, uh, mas okay kung naiintindihan natin. No? Tapos gagawa natin siya ng uh, equations. So, yung sagot nga natin, yung site B. Yun lang kasimple, no? gagawa lang tayo ng equations. So, simpleng mat lang, multiply and add. Sa simula. Kasi nga, how many cubic yards per material does the contractor have to deliver before starting to make a profit if paid $12 per cubic yard? So, in profit, so in yung uh, difference between the revenue and yung cost. Uh, so, na then. Equal in sa revenue. Minus yung cost. So, pag pang value na to, at naging negative, ibig sabihin mas mataas yung cost mo kaysa sa revenue. 
So, lost yun nun. Mayroon na loss. Open natin yung revenue. So, yung revenue natin, so, $12 per cubic yard. Sa record, is equal to $12 per cubic yard. And then, ang required kung gano'ng karami yung, yung material na i-haul or madideliver. And then, para dun sa cost. So, ang ginawa natin kanina para makuha yung cost, pinag-add natin yung fixed cost at yung variable cost. So, yung fixed cost, yung natin FC. Yung muna yung notation and then variable cost. Yung fixed cost natin sa site B. So, ito. So, 28.50 at saka yung 12. 28,000. Plus 50,000. Plus 12,000 sa rin. So, 90,000. 750. Then, yung variable cost para sa B. So, ang ginawa natin ito. 3 miles times 2.75. And then, ito. Ito yung magiging variable natin kung gano'n karami i-deliver. Ito yung total kailangan natin kung ano yung value bago na magkaroon tayo ng profit. And after nun, profit na yung makuha. So, solve natin. So, revenue is 12. Next, simple yan muna natin. Equals. Next. So, equate natin sila, no? Kung bagay yung tinatawag natin break even. And then after nun, magkakaroon ka na lang ng profit. Equals yung dalawa. So, yung ating uh, fixed cost na 90, 750, plus 3 times 2.75x. Therefore, x is equal to... So, pwede natin gawin uh, 90, 750, lower lipat lang natin dito sa kabila. O pwedeng sabihin natin na subtract both sides. Subtract both sides by 3 times 2.75x. Subtract both sides. So, matitira na lang dito. So, 12 minus 3 times 2.75. Pwede natin i-divide ko doon. So, 12 minus 3 times 2.75. So, 24,200 cubic yards. So, therefore, ang sagot natin, or yung conclusion natin dun sa tanong, or dun sa problem, site B yung better choice for the site. Dahil makakasave ka in the long run after ng project, 53,000 lang. Kasi sa site A, ang mga reaction is 573. So, syempre, doon kasi mas mababang cost. And then, para naman dun sa next na tanong, gano'n karami yung i-deliver mo muna bago ka magkaroon ng profit. So, after 24,200 cubic yards. 